This is bad. Hey, everybody, you're watching Bull Boom Bear Bust. It is Tuesday, July 5th, 2022. Hope everyone had an excellent 4th of July. And what is so bad, you might ask? Well, the cost of a used car has risen once again, just like we predicted. The average monthly car payment in the U.S. hit $712, and that's per Moody's analytics the average car payment seven hundred and twelve dollars that is mind-boggling but yet people are still taking out loans to buy these overpriced vehicles some people say they're overpriced other people say they're just going to go higher so you better buy now we're going to try to dissect some of that for you but first let's take a look at some other numbers here because of the rising prices and now higher interest rates making the monthly payments even higher for people that get car loans you now are seeing the average age of a vehicle on the road has hit an all-time high. We're now at 12 years old. So it used to be around six or seven years. That would be the average time frame when people would trade in their used vehicle and get another vehicle. Maybe it was a brand new vehicle. Maybe it was one that was a few years um, newer. But the fact that we're at an all-time high now for the average age of vehicles on the road tells you that more people are just saying no they don't want to buy an overpriced vehicle they want to just keep the vehicle they have try to keep it running as long as possible and that means people are going to have to be more diligent on their maintenance regular oil changes and uh, maybe treating their vehicles a little bit nicer i wonder about some of these people that you see speeding and basically ragging on their vehicles revving up their engines um squiggling their tires you know, basically abusing their vehicles. I wonder if they're all rich and they just don't care about uh, the extra maintenance it's gonna be for all this wear and tear on their vehicle. Uh, but I guess movies like Fast and Furious have people um, thinking that they're gonna be a race car driver on the freeway. Now, according to Cox Automotive's Rebecca Raduski, things may get much worse and there's no sign of things getting better anytime soon. Quote, prices for new and used vehicles are showing signs of stabilizing and price growth will likely decline over the course of the summer as the anniversary of the big squeeze in inventory passes. She continues, however, no one should expect price drops as tight supplies in the new market will hold prices at an elevated level into 2023. So you heard that correct. No price drops this year in the calendar year 2022 and likely deep into 2023 we're going to continue to see prices where they're at and go up even higher uh, what she said again is a decline in the increase or a decline in the rate of growth that means prices are still going to go higher just not as fast so a decline in the growth now how can we look at this other than another nail in the coffin for the U.S. consumer. The U.S. consumer is tapped out. In fact, beyond tapped out, debt levels are rising at an unprecedented level. Uh, people are running up credit card balances like never before, and it's less towards entertainment and non-essential type of spending and more towards just food and people keeping a roof over their head. In fact... Uh, in my job, more people are calling asking to pay their balances uh, with credit cards uh, than ever before. So people trying to pay off loans with a credit card. So think about that. People trying to pay off debt, a loan, with more debt, a credit card. And I don't see this lasting much longer before we see this, uh, what I've been calling a bankruptcy tsunami. And I think that's going to be coming here towards the end of 2022 we're going to start seeing more signs as the months progress but here's yet another sign uh that the u.s consumer uh already mostly in big trouble but getting deeper and deeper and deeper into trouble uh, as the debt continues to mount as we see prices continuing to rise and again we have to point out to the fact that um almost every time i report something like this there's people out there telling me that I'm wrong. Prices are going to crash. No, JJ, you're doom and gloom. Uh, just wait. Prices are going to crash. Wait and see. Well, here we are. Another month of data and another all-time high in the prices of new and used 
cars. Uh, where does it end? Well, I think we've got quite a ways to go because all of the factors that led prices to get this high in the first place, well, they're not being resolved. Are we seeing a surge in automobile manufacturing job, uh, jobs coming back to the U.S.? Well, no. Because as long as we have an outrageous cost of living here, car manufacturers are going to choose to stay uh, producing vehicles, making vehicles in other countries that have cheaper labor requirements. Where the cost of living is cheaper, then people will work for less. And until we address the rising cost of living, jobs are going to keep on getting sent overseas. And you're going to see more and more people here in the United States working low paying service sector jobs that are reliant on consumer spending. But here's the problem. The consumer is getting tapped out. Now, according to Kelly Blue Book, the average new car price is over $47,000 now. $47,000 for the average new car. Um, you're lucky to find something for less than 50,000 miles now for less than $12,000. Uh, so folks, I'm not seeing any price relief on the horizon for vehicles and also not in many other categories here. Home prices starting to come down a little bit. Uh, in some markets, asking prices coming down 5 to 10%. Uh, but what's a 5 or 10% drop when prices have went up 100, 200, uh, 300% uh, in some markets over the years? And uh, now we see mortgage rates starting to come down again. They want to, uh, looks like, keep this bubble inflated. Um, I think it's going to deflate some, but I don't think it's going to be a crash. Uh, so home prices still elevated. Automobile prices obviously continuing to rise. Rents still rising. Uh, we're not seeing the pain at the pump. Uh, subside very much at all, maybe a few cents uh, with the recent drop in oil prices. So uh, the debt tsunami is still on the way. And I hope you have your lifeboats because uh, it's coming and nothing's going to change it. Uh, please let me know what you think down in the comments. Am I wrong? If I'm wrong, don't just tell me I'm wrong. Tell me why. Tell me of the news or evidence or data that you have that says everything's going to change, prices are going to go down, the cost of living is going to go down, inflation is going to stop and reverse. Uh, please let me know down in the comments. Or if you agree with me, uh, please let me know what you think. Uh, either way, I'd like to hear from you. Thanks, everybody, for being here. And I want to give uh, shout-outs and thanks to the following people who uh, tipped me and gave me super thanks. Uh, Christopher Quinn, thank you very much. Uh, the Rhonda Ebayer, thank you very much for your tip and your support. Also, DJ Jojo, your screen name, cool name. Thank you very much to your support. I thank you very much for your support. Really appreciate you um, coming here, uh, leaving comments, um, encouragement, tips. Uh, thank you to everyone for your engagement too down in comments. One more uh, shout out here to another uh, supporter of this channel. And Josh Martin, thank you very much for your support and for your idea. And basically, Josh is saying, hey, JJ, do an episode about living cheaper. And let's talk about learning to cook at home with cheaper ingredients, rice, beans, uh, less meat, more veggies. Uh, we all know the price of meat is going up. I would really love to get into more of uh, that topic. And we're going to uh, put something together that's going to talk about the price of food and getting the lowest price ingredients, uh, less meat, more veggies, and hopefully uh, save money by making more of these types of things at home. And uh, Josh Martin also says, don't feed into this nightmare by continuing to buy overpriced items. Learn to make great meals with cheaper ingredients. Absolutely. Uh, in the overall... Uh, attempt to save money and live uh, a little bit more of a <laughs> inexpensive life, uh, if that's even possible. But that's one thing we can all look to to try to do. Thank you to everybody for your support. Ride the bull, prepare for the bear, keep stacking. Bye for now. Peace.